Hello everybody, welcome to my series of video tutorials about Maltego Chloride Community Edition 2. Uh, this is Silo Null speaking and in this video tutorial I'm going to show you what kind of information we can get from Maltego when uh, we have a name of a person. So let's start by drag and drop a, a person icon in, in our graph. Uh, let's edit the, the values. I would like to, to mention here that if we change the first name value and the surname value automatically Maltego update the full name. So in this case I'm going to leave this first name. I need to change the surname. Okay, John Williams. And you can see here that the full name is automatically updated with the values that we have typed in the in the ball fields. So to start, um, the first type of info that we can get from a person within Maltego uh, is the email addresses that could be related to this person. So, so the first transform that I'm going to run is to email address PGP. So in this case, uh, we can search for email addresses uh, within PGP servers that could be related to this person you want to know which uh, PGP uh, servers this transform is going to search if you click on the configure button you can see here the PGP server URL and you can include a uh, new server separated by the comma just to make this transform look for these, these, these servers I'm going to leave the, the default values I'm going to run that transform Okay, so right now I'm, I'm getting 12 results and remember that as we are working with the community edition uh, we have a limitation with the maximum number of results that we get uh, from transform, so in my case it's 12. If you are using the XL or classic version um, uh, you could get more, more results. So in this case all of them are emails uh, within PGP servers that could be related to, to John John Williams. So another way to find out email addresses, let me copy this entity to another graph, is by using to email address verify common. In this case if I click the configure button I can select which type of domains I want to search for. So in this case I'm only interested in gmail.com and hotmail.com I'm going to leave those values by, by default and uh, let me know which email address could belong to this person and uh, also belongs to, to those uh, domains. So in this case you can see that the emails have hotmail.com, gmail.com and all these emails could be related to, to John Williams. And the third way to find out which email address could be related to, to a person is uh, by using the search engine. So in this case we are going to use the second transform to email addresses using search engine. If I click here uh, I'm going to include in this case yahoo.com, gmail.com and the search engine uh, would be Bing. Let's run this transform and in this case I get all these 12 gmails uh, that could be related to, to John Williams. Uh, remember once I, I run a transform that is uh, it's done by using search engine uh, the, the results uh, have a dynamic property called URLS as you can see here with the name in this case with the URL where um, the transfer had found uh, the, the relations between this email address and the name of, of the person. So in this case would be this part of here. Okay, that's all from the email address. Uh, what else info can I get from, from Altego? Well, in this case can also get phone numbers let's copy this icon to another graph and in this case I want to know the phone numbers using search engine so in this case 
I'm going to to leave these values with one a space. I select bin and I select to phone numbers. As a result, I can get all the info and uh, which URL um, has been used just to to make this relation. If you click the the result of the transfer, once of the result of the of the transfer, here you can see the URL, and that's the the info that you can that you can get for. So you should go to that URL just to find it out which is the the real uh, the real link between the phone number and, and the person that I'm searching for. Okay, what else? So let's go begin this icon. I want to know um, in which websites um, uh, mention John Williams in this case. So in order to do that, there is a transfer call to website using search engine. So in this case, again, I'm not going to use any TLL and I'm going to use any additional terms. So I include a blank. I'm using bin and I'm going to run to the website. So in this case, uh, I have uh, all these websites and for example 3w.allmusic.com if I see the value of the URL you can see that here the URL where there is a relationship with uh, that website and John Williams so in this case this would be one URL this will be another URL and this will be the third URL within this website so you can go deeper just to know more info about uh, that person and finally you can also get the Twitter uh, profile uh, from that person I'm currently uh, I'm not using um, Twitter access tokens you should get one but just to show you the transfer uh, if I click to Twitter affiliation search Twitter you get the Twitter profile that could be related to this person in my case I should include here the Twitter access token you can use your Twitter access token and once you set or populate this this property you can run the transfer and, and you can get the, the Twitter uh, the affiliation Twitter so thank you very much for 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 watching my video uh, just to summarize um, the info that we can get from a person within Maltego could be email addresses uh, could be phone numbers uh, websites that could be uh, related to this person and also the Twitter affiliation thank you very much for seeing my video I hope you enjoy it and you can subscribe my YouTube channel and um, we will see we will see you in, in next uh, video tutorials thank you very much for your attention bye bye